Well, hey there, it's Mr. Malte. Today we're going to look at constellations first, and then we're going to look at the night sky, and we'll make some art. And we'll combine those two things. So in this video, we're going to look at this constellations blank template that your teacher should have given you on Classroom, and it just shows the night sky looking north. If it was today, if it was in November, late November, it would be, this would be around six o'clock. So here is the template. I'm actually going to show a brand new thing. If you have um, anything on the side, just make sure you get rid of your themes. You can go to view and get rid of your speaker notes. On the second slide, I have this link to time and date. This is a cool site. It shows you what the stars would look like at your location. So I'm going to just make this full screen. So here's looking straight north. And there's the horizon. This is currently, it's at 9.20 on November 26th. I like to start with the Big Dipper, and which is a part of Ursa Major. There's the Big Dipper. This would be around 6 p.m. looking north in Edmonton, or around Edmonton. So there's pretty, there we go. And as we go through the night, the constellations appear to orbit because of the Earth's rotation. Because of our spin, they appear to orbit around the North Star, Polaris, which is right here. And it's really easy to find it, actually. If you can find the Big Dipper, if you're living in Canada and you want to be a sky ninja, if you line up the two end stars of the Big Dipper, they point almost directly to Polaris, the North Star. If you can find that, you can also find some other ones. If you line up Megrez with Polaris, you will end up at whoop, Cassiopeia. So this star, along with the North Star, would line you up at Cassiopeia. So those are three major constellations that you should know if you're living here, because you can find the North Star. And it's probably one of the more important ones. And then you can go and find some of the other cool ones like Orion and the ones that we see up here. Perseus, some great ones. So we're going to concentrate today just on these three constellations, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, and Cassiopeia. And uh, yeah, we're actually going to make our own little animation. We're going to create that ourselves. So back to our template. We're going to actually just draw these constellations ourselves. I'm also going to do this new thing, go under view and show film strip. I'm going to take the film strip off so I get a little more real estate. All right. Now I have a little star on this picture and basically you just need to know a few keyboard shortcuts. Control D, it just duplicate. And then your arrow keys can move. That's control D. You also should know how to zoom. I'm going to zoom this in just slightly. Zooming, the proper way to zoom, it, it's you can do it from here, the menu, but you can also go Control Alt Plus. That will zoom you, and then you can use your trackpad to find where you want to be. So I'm actually going to Control D, duplicate, and I'm going to move just with my arrow keys. Now you're going to need also to Control D and then move the arrow keys. If you want to move it just a little bit, shift and the arrow key moves that just slightly. So Control D, move with your arrow keys, shift, arrow keys, Control D. Move a little bit with shift and the arrow keys, Control D. I'm going to keep doing this. Control D, shift and the arrow keys to move it a little bit. I'm just going to keep drawing these. Control D. Shift. Oh, that one I didn't quite get on. Shift. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, but shift. Arrow keys. Control D. Zoom. Shift. Arrow keys. Control D. Control D. Shift and arrow keys. Control D. Shift and arrow keys. Control D. Control D. Do you get that that's the keyboard shortcut? Shift and the arrow keys. Control D. 
Oh, this one's going to be far away. So you should be drawing, copying these three constellations. Control D. Control D. Shift and arrow keys. Control D. Shift and arrow keys. Control D. Shift and arrow keys. Awesome. Control Alt square bracket takes you back to normal view. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to get rid of my picture and I've got my three constellations. Um, I put the North Star directly in the center of this. Uh, so yeah, do your constellations, make sure you pause, come back when you have the constellations drawn. It might take a little bit of time to get used to that. Copy, moving it over, using the shift and the arrow keys, just getting these constellations drawn. Um, and when you're ready, you got your constellations drawn, come on back. So in this one, I've put Polaris. Is it Polaris or Polaris? Let's look at Google. Define Polaris. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not giving me the. Polaris. Polaris. Let's see if the British do it the same way. Polaris. Polaris. Ha! So Polaris for us. Okay, now I've put little circles on each of the corners. So this is the exact center. And now I'm going to select it all and just we're going to see how it rotates. So I'm going to control A. Everything's selected, and now I'm using Alt and the left arrow key, and there is my constellation animation where they are moving around, and you can look. So this would be around 6 p.m. in November, November 26th, and then you can consult back at that sky map site and just see how it would rotate around. And at different times of the year, the constellations would start at different areas of the sky, right? So in March, it would be in a different area at 6 p.m. at a different, you know, the same time, it would be in a different spot in the sky because of our orbit around the sun. So this apparent movement is because it's daily because of our spin. And then where it is in the sky appears different because of our orbit around the sun. So, there we go. There are our constellations. And uh, we're going to combine this with our art and make something beautiful. So, that's the end of this video. Hope you've got your constellations ready to rock and roll.